Om Shanti. This is the Morley experiments for May 21st, 2021. This Morley, there are some key points for practice. And the first one is this expression, Miruamot Maluka Shikar. And that is um, generally translated as death to the prey and a kill for the hunter. But um, here it's the process of leaving the body. It's all about preparation for death. So Baba gave a lot of importance to the mantra Manmanabhav and um, the practice of leaving this body, having a feeling of distaste or disillusionment with the present world and everything that's going on in it cannot be fixed. It has to be allowed to go. And so this Murli is telling us our spiritual practice is preparation for our own individual death. And that too, in the context of vast um, death for the majority of people in the world, the destruction is a very big thing. And for many, many years, we have been engaged in this spiritual practice so that we can establish a very powerful spiritual, psychological, emotional connection with ourselves as immortal spiritual beings. And that the only one who is really there for us is Baba, God, She Baba, and that we are practicing to go to him. And that means going to him while leaving the body, while in the midst of all sorts of very big disturbances and very fearsome scenes, um, which will evoke all of our weaknesses, but our practice over a long period of time is to be so strong and so firm and so much having faith in the self as a soul. I cannot die. The world will regenerate itself. Baba is here to help us to do this step the step of leaving the world, going back to him who is our beloved. And the relationship with the beloved is you're ready to die for the beloved. And so in this way, we are preparing to die into the love of Baba. Our attention is focused on him. We let go of our body. We let go of all the other people we would have practiced for a long period of time to know what our attachments are, who we are attached to, and finish that attachment, knowing that um, there isn't anything or anyone in this world who can really be our support, only Baba. So there is expression, one power, one support. And we have to go through many, many difficult situations on this earth. And all of these difficulties are making us experienced and strong for this final transition to the soul world and um, to return back to this world in the form of heaven, and so we love Baba, we love heaven, we love ourselves, we love the souls of the Brahmin family who have been our co-pilgrims on this journey 
towards the stage of being karmatit, the stage of being satopradhan, the stage of being bodiless and virtuous, we would have faced and moved through all of our weaknesses, handled our character defects, faced everything, endured everything, and then when the moment comes, we know what to do. We just uh, allow ourselves to let go of this body. There may be pain, but we will know how to endure that final pain. The heart strings may be pulled by our attachments, but we have prepared ourselves and we will break those heart strings and let go of all of those people, places and things that meant so much to us. Because we have transferred our connection, our attachment to Baba. And we know that Baba is there to receive us. So it's just a matter of something like jumping off a cliff and knowing that he will be there uh, to catch us and we will just go. So this Murli is reminding us that this is really what our spiritual practice is all about. Um, we would have also spent a lot of time during our life in Gyan doing service. So we would have accumulated not only yoga power, not only a depth of knowledge, but also pure karma through doing service. And so we will have been totally prepared to do this. And every day, Baba makes us make this preparation a little deeper, a little firmer, until when suddenly and unexpectedly the moment comes, we just let go. Om Shanti.